Hello gamers, video producer Leo Vader here. Grounded is the upcoming miniature survival game from Obsidian, and like any survival game worth mentioning, it's got robust base building mechanics. The systems here might be positively compared to The Forest, targeting intuitive structure placement and plenty of options of what to place. But the best way to show how these systems work is by showing them working, so I'll walk through three different bases we made in the game and how they came together. The first base I built in co-op alongside GI's Jeff Cork and Ben Reeves. It went up no sweat. As someone who likes to think of stuff that would be cool and then put no further effort into making it, I fell naturally into the foreman role. I placed the blueprints of our future base while Jeff and Ben cut down grass stalks to gather materials and make my dreams a reality. It was nice to be able to lay out everything the way you want it and know if it's going to look bad before you actually go through with building it. And as you place the materials, that structure is filled piece by piece based on what you're adding. Doing this with three people, believe it or not, made it three times faster. Building our base with simple grass walls, the weakest and simplest structure we had, our building shot up in just a few minutes with nearly no communication required. Then with the foundation built, we got to work on a second floor, placed lean-tos to rest in, fires to cook bug meat, and baskets to hold excess materials. It was a great base of operations to work from, until we accidentally led a horde of angry ants straight to it and they terrifyingly tore down everything, from the walls to our baskets, causing our supplies to come loose and spill all over the floor. When your stuff gets destroyed, you get some of those resources back, but not all of them. So you don't want your stuff to get destroyed. The next base I built was for my solo playthrough. I kind of learned my lesson about relying on grass walls to protect me and instead opted to build my necessities in a more low profile way, hidden away on a tree stump high above the local fauna. I made sure to place a dew collector and mushroom garden, which both replenish automatically every morning and throughout the day. I like being above threats like that, with easy access to traversal along the top of the grass and a bounce web to move between the different stumps of my base. I really became attached to it, and it was a fun loop to start the day with a new project to improve it and head out to gather those supplies. This was the base I used in the Day in the Life of Grounded video, so watch that if you want to see more of it in action. The third base was one I built with Jeff Cork, and we did it in creative mode, so we didn't have to actually gather the resources. We decided to build it off the edge of a massive cliff slash knee-high garden wall, depending on your perspective. For the precarious nature of this idea, it ended up feeling like a really safe little den to retreat to, with some nice windows to show off the view. With materials for building a non-issue, we kind of went crazy with decorations, chairs, weapon mounts on the walls, and a full slam ball court in the backyard. We had a full court of bounce webs, we had pebbles for basketballs, and you can actually make basketball hoops. And all of these fans came out to watch us play that definitely weren't just dummies you mount armor on that Cork and I built out of loneliness. I mean, I'm not going to pretend it played like a real basketball game, but it sure worked better than it had any right to. You can legitimately dunk. Creative mode was a really fun way to push the boundaries of the building system, and it never felt limiting. If you have the patience, you can build some really cool, unique creations. Like, I don't know if I mentioned, but we built a working slam ball court. The building stuff, in general, is everything I want out of a base builder. Easy to plan, with the necessary materials clearly communicated, and exciting, beneficial upgrades to strive for. The system especially shines in co-op, with a really satisfying division of labor between players. Especially if you're me and not doing any labor. Thanks for watching, and for more Grounded coverage, make sure to stay tuned to Game Informer and check out the most recent issue of our magazine to read the full cover story.